Hey y'all, hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I'm going to get right into it. So healing is a journey. It is not a destination. So even when I return energy to the sender and I send it back healed with love and light, you're not just going to magically, mysteriously get healed. Healing is a journey. You have to choose healing. You get what I'm saying? So if I'm sending you healing energy, it's because I'm sending you energy so that you can want to heal yourself. You get what I'm saying? But some everybody don't want to be healed. Some people are okay where they're at. Some people rather be in the dark than to embrace the light. You as a light worker, though, you have a job to, as a healer, you know, to try to raise the vibration of the earth. We're here to save the earth. So I'm going to get right into it. Let's see what's going on. So that means all people involved, okay? Shedding light in the dark places. Uh-huh. And to all those shady people, we shine in the sun upon them, okay? So whatever's in the dark is coming to the light right now, okay? What's happening, Spirit? What you want them to know? Yeah, I feel like um, whoever chose a karmic side chose a karmic lifestyle, chose to do dark magic, chose to be in that dark energy, those people are being revealed right now, whether it's to you or your person, okay? Let's see what else is going on, what's going on? It's when flames flew out, seduction, heart with a key, and love, all right, kisses, and masks. The masks are falling off, finally. This person is ready to show their true, authentic self. And this is your twin flame, okay? Your twin flame, your other half, the person that loves you unconditionally, equally, okay? And we got heart with a key, all right? Welcoming in love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting to know each other, perfect timing, okay? We got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, oneness, enjoying each other, dating, meeting someone, Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, playing a set of date, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic situation, clock, needing time, take time with twin flames and seduction, attraction, flirting, dating with love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness. Let me tell you what all this means all together. For one, your person has been through some type of deep hurt and sadness due to their previous choices they're re they're recognizing that a lot of the hurt and pain is you know a lot of their own fault you know it's time to take accountability for the truth of the decisions that they made in the past they know that they made poor choices okay based off of their frequency level they were in low energy so they were attracting other low energy people I feel like right now you're just praying that your person elevates and see things from a higher frequency, okay? Meaning like watching their words and what they're saying, what they're speaking. Because what, what you're speaking, especially out loud or even written, that is what you're manifesting. You're creating actually, okay? This person loves you though. This person loves you more than anything. And I feel like they can't hide that anymore. They're actually needing a little bit of time to heal, so that they can come towards you. But they do want to love you. They know that your love is unconditional. This person, you may have even talked to this person about Twin Flames. Okay? And now this person may have looked it up and they feel like you are Twin Flames or soulmates. Okay? But I feel like this person looks at you as like their joy, their peace. And they know that it's taking a long time. They know that you're probably getting impatient. You That was one of your biggest lessons to work on patience. And spirit is grateful and proud of you. Your spirit team, your ancestors, they're very proud of you, okay? <clears throat> but don't be surprised if this person tried to come in and seduce you. They love you. They miss you, okay? They could have even had a third-party interference that tried to come in and seduce them while they were healing their heart. But I feel like this person evolved enough in the love that they have for you and for themselves. They won't go back. And they know they on a shot clock. What well, we got, spirit? They on a shot clock. 
Because they know any, like they have, they can have whoever they want and you can have whoever you want. Okay, look, the tower came in. The tower came in to let, to bring this epiphany, to clear the air, to knock down anything that's not solid. Okay, this person is now single. This person is now single um, from whoever they were dealing with. Okay, this person is also grounded. We got King of Earth. This could be a business owner. This could be somebody who um, is just um, capable of taking care of home. Um, this person take care of the bills. This is this person is bold, okay? Or whoever, that girl. All right? Take it. What resonate? masculine is just the energy. But this person is now single. This person is independent. This person has been working on themselves, okay? They had to become whole and complete on their own. They're making better decisions with this judgment. And I feel like they're finding strength within them with the strength card. This could be a Leo. Um, Earth, Earth signs is out here. Sagittarius with this temperance. But um, I feel like, yeah, this person is like now trying to find the strength within to make better decisions for themselves. They're making more stable, grounded decisions. Because so I definitely feel like they were up in their head, Eight of Swords. They were feeling like they were trapped. Whoever they was with, they felt trapped or stuck. Like this person was keeping them, like holding them hostage in some type of way. Meaning like holding something over their head. Um... Just making them feel guilty, making them feel bad if they leave, okay? But I feel like this person has finally seen the light. I told you the sun is going to shine down upon whoever these dark entities is, all right? And it's revealing to your person. It's clearing up the air. It's getting them out of that mental prison, that dark place where they were self-sabotaging. Now they're stepping into their divinity with love and light, okay? Ten of cups, two of cups. They know who you are to them. So they had to walk away from the second choice, whoever this other person was. At one point, you were the option, but now this person views you as the one. They looked at you as the option because they had too much going on at that time, Seven of Cups. But now they have found the strength within them to come towards you. They are on the way. They want to give you all this emotional fulfillment, this love that they have for you is endless and it's unconditional. The same way you feel about them, they feel about you. What you want, wants you. So right now, get up out of your head and into your heart. Allow your heart to sing with joy. Open your heart up to receive this connection, okay? This beautiful love that's here for you, all right? This is your destiny. So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Namaste.